Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey everybody, sweet mother of all that's evil. I have uh, in my hand a ridiculous amount, two page long documentation of a car that took us several years to build, several people involved, and uh, truly came out what I think is uh, the most spectacular uh, muscle car that we've ever had. You know, we've had some great cars come along. I'm sure you know everyone will have their opinion about whatever. But if you wanted to get yourself a car that no matter where you go, no one, the Prius driver, the mailman, uh, the people that work at the Subway sandwich shop, won't come out and go, that is the most incredible looking car I've ever seen. What is it? Uh, this is it. So come on up. I want to talk to you about a couple of things. Now keep in mind, this is a brand new Camaro, meaning it's a 69 body built by a company called Dynacorn. And what they do is they are authorized to uh, make you a brand new shell. So when you buy this shell, uh, it's roughly around $20,000 for the shell. And you buy your doors, you buy your fenders, you buy your hood. It's an enormous amount needed to do the undertaking. Then you have to go ahead and do uh, paint and body. And the paint and body on these can take you know, 400 hours of just aligning panels, wet sanding, making sure everything fits properly, painting everywhere, powder coating, it's on and on. So uh, in our hands right now, and this car has uh, roughly about 100 miles on it, in our hands right now we have uh, somewhere a little over 150,000 in receipts, and I'm still compiling the receipts. So uh, uh, we could have closer to 180,000 in it, but uh, I'll say 150 plus, and that way you know if you're Getting, but uh, the great thing about it is it takes three to four years to build one of these. We're selling it for around uh, the 119 mark, so you're really saving, you know, thirty to forty thousand dollars. Thirty to forty thousand dollars. Did you hear me? And several years of incredible labor to do this uh, for for a spectacular, spectacular car. The one thing people love so much about muscle cars is the look and the style, because that's what you're getting when you get one of these. Like the style is spectacular. Uh, they really haven't, uh, although the new Camaro is great looking, they haven't really been able to put this in and take all this off. So I want to show you some of the stuff we did where we took the, the old school style and turned this car into like a brand new, easy driving with modern convenience muscle car, and it is badass. And I'll tell you this, I'm carrying these around because I cannot remember all the things that we did to the car, so we put these on the windows uh, so that you can remember, A, when you're looking at the car to look at all these little things, and also B, so I can remember what the hell I'm talking about, all right? So let's take a peek. So uh, I have about a $15,000 receipt in just body and paint, and I want to show you why. In your lifetime, you may not see better black paint than that right there. That is so crystal clear. Like, look at this. You can see what time it is. That's just dust. It is off the charts spectacular. All right, so some of the things that uh, may not readily be apparent but are all buried inside this car to make the driving experience incredible are things like this. All right, so we go with the Foos rims. All right, they're polished and clear coated, 18s. SSBC uh, top aligned brake systems, ordered with the, uh, uh, the calipers painted red, slotted rotors, vented inside. Uh, it's got Coney coilover suspension, all right, that's adjustable for height compression, dampening, those kinds of things. So you could actually take this car to like a vintage track day and wheel this thing around uh, and have an awesome time, perhaps spanking a couple of the BMWs that might try to pull up next to you. When I open the hood, you'll see why. Okay, so uh, underneath here is, um, and in this car, it's kind of weird, even though it's titled as a 69, there's nothing in this car that's really from a 69 except for one small part that you won't be able to see, and that's the window regulators. The reason the window regulators or, and the slots that the windows are held in, they don't reproduce those uh, as new. But everything else in this car, every nut, bolt, fastener, washer, wheel, tire, engine, everything in this car uh, has come from a, a, from a new bin stock of, of items. Uh, the one thing that's kind of cool too is the subframe, just the front end part of this car here, is built by um, Detroit Speed Engineering. They're known for, uh, for doing great quality stuff. This one's powder coated and it has uh, uh, tubular control arms, instead of the old stamp steel ones and some things on it that make it, uh, that make it handle really, really nice. So uh, let's keep walking around. I love this call out of here uh, for the emblems with the Camaro and the RS and the SS. I think this looks great. The front end of this car came out awesome. Uh, so uh, there's some cool stuff. There's some old school RS headlights. Okay, instead of the old vacuum operated, they're uh, motorized. Uh, we have LED turn signals in here, as well as running lights too. Let me turn one on, I'll show you. How cool is that, huh? And then I want to show you the uh, headlights, doors. That's pretty hot. 
And what I like to do sometimes is check out those white lights that are in there. What I like to do sometimes, you can actually set it up so that the headlight doors are closed, but the lights are on, so it shines through there like they're looking through some, uh, some vertical blinds. It looks awesome. Um, okay, so uh, let's take a peek under the hood for a minute, and we'll see some of the detail there. Now you say, well, how does a car get to be this price? Well, first off, you start with a brand new car. So you start with a rust-free piece of, of, of history. You're talking about uh, it could take thousands of hours to take a 69 Camaro to this level. You can imagine uh, how nice it is uh, getting a car that starts with no rust at all so you don't have those worries. All right, you ready? The money shot. Over the top, LS2 power uh, out of a Corvette, six-speed transmission, and then we had a custom rear end built by uh, Moser, and we'll look at that also. All right, so come on in and look at this right here. Here's the tubular control arms. Look at the size of those massive pieces, the way the Coney coilovers are mounted on this custom subframe made by DSE. You got your serpentine belt system. All those pulleys are polished. Power steering pump here with the reservoir over here. Air conditioning, all right? And the great thing about this is you're talking about four to 450 horsepower with the turn of a key. You don't have to pump the gas. This car doesn't care whether it's 110 outside or it's 10 outside. Hit the key, it fires up, and that's what makes today's modern cars so great. Um, and it's a real 400 plus horsepower because they're rated differently today than they were then, and these are uh, genuine. So keep in mind too, like if you were trying to buy an aluminum block and aluminum heads from say Shelby or uh, Celine or somebody like that, you know, those motors can run somewhere around uh, $20,000. So here you have an aluminum block, aluminum heads, aluminum transmission, you know, everything in here is made, uh, you're saving four and 500 pounds just on weight of drivetrain alone. Not to mention uh, how well the car is constructed and built. So check this out, this is kind of cool. See how nice and smooth the firewall is? You don't have to worry about the heating and air conditioning system because first off, it's here, it's run inside the fender, and then the units themselves are hidden underneath the dash inside the car. So uh, it really tidies everything up. And as you walk around, come on this way for a second. Ceramic coated headers. Look how beautifully the wires are run. It does have the oxygen sensors all inside there. So at least you can, uh, uh, the, the, the car doesn't run rich. Uh, there's a chance if you need to get it done through emissions, we can always put a set of cats on it for you. Uh, and this car should pass emissions. But it is titled as a 69, so uh, I don't think you'll have to do that. But the fit and finish on this car is just absolutely over the top. Now, as you walk around the car, you might be saying to yourself, well, Tone, I see it's missing a couple small things. All right, so it's not that we actually forgot the door handles, it's actually that the door handles were eliminated for this reason. Because when you have a car like this, this is what you do. You pop things open and you show off all the inside or it just makes it that much cooler to get in the car. So let's uh, uh, finish the trunk. So a couple small pieces that aren't here yet, I wanna let you know, just so I don't have to redo the entire video, is we have uh, the canvas convertible top, the German canvas, and we also have a boot that matches it too. Uh, done and positioned in there and it just came out really great so it makes the car look really rich. I wanted to put this vinyl one on here just so you can at least see what it looks like but uh, the new one coming is very nice. You know when you're taking these cars to these levels it's the little tiny things from uh, the cool placement of the emblems to the matching calipers with that stuff but stuff like this here where you have like a cloth top uh, you know German stay fast canvas top with a matching boot looks really really good um, instead of just a plain old cheap vinyl top. It's one of the things that takes you to oh, when you pull up in this car uh, and you and people see it, they know that like these are the details that take these cars to a different level that most other cars can't ever get to. Okay, I thought this was really cool. I wanted you guys to see everything back here. It has LED tail lights, LED reverse lights. I have it in reverse right now so you can see it. You know, these are flickering because they're on video, but uh, in real life, they're nice and bright and solid and they look really cool. And let me hit the uh, brake light for you real quick if I could just so you can see how bright they are. Um, and just these little touches that make these car, this car so much different than anything else. How cool is that, huh? Another cool feature too, uh, not to mention if we could, looking underneath here for a second. Everything under here is brand new from the custom built fuel tank to the Moser rear axle. Everything is tied into the chassis. Uh, it's set up for uh, 700 plus horsepower. Has a beautiful cross member down below, protect the bottom. Everything's painted, powder coated, plated, polished, everything from the tag light to whatever. Uh, this is kind of cool here. This Camaro, this kind of new old school stuff. Like this is a, off of the modern uh, Camaros of today with these call out emblems and it just fits so well on this car. All right. Everything is this here. All right, this has a beautiful trunk kit that's been made that has red piping around the carpeting. Uh, I didn't put it in here because I just want to show you 
uh, the detail of this because this is an important part of the car. This is a lot of the structure back here. And something that I wanted you to see also is like, this is dynamatted, right? Meaning that the entire car front to back has been insulated. So you don't get the heat from the old cars. Uh, it's a lot quieter inside and the carpet's a little bit softer. Just uh, everything feels really, really nice. There's no seams for the quarter panels because this is all stamped together. The rear spoiler looks great. New trunk latch, all that stuff is all in there. Now this also has mini tubs. And the great thing about mini tubs is we're able to fit in, you know, up to a 12 or 13 inch wide wheel, which we have huge wheels on the back of this car, but we're also able to keep the rear seat. And the rear seat's important because you might want to take your kids out or another couple or what like that, but you also want to stuff in these giant meats. And I'd like everybody to see this, how it fits inside the body, but look how much wheel and tire you get. And here's the mini tubs in here, just to give you an idea. This is typically how big uh, a regular wheel well would be. These are here, extended into here. Um, so as you can see how much it can hold inside. Okay, as we walk around the car, I keep talking about stuff, but like, you know, this is kind of cool when you go out uh, with your wife or a boyfriend or your kids or whatever, and you pop the door, hey, jump on in. You know, these seats right here, they're also uh, power. Right? And then uh, to get in the back is here. And I've never gotten in the back, so I don't know. Check that out. That's really nice. Seats two people. It's got seat belts and all that good stuff. So you got power seats, right? Power recliners. This is out of a 2010 11 Camaro. This interior here. Custom console. This is kind of nice too. You got tilt wheel. This is a billet steering column. You got the cool billet pedal dress ups down there. All the billet switches. Covan auto meter gauges. Uh, and they're ultra lights. I believe you can change the color of them too. You can go with white, you can go with red, you can go with blue, you know, whatever really looks cool. Got this cool RSSS here. Uh, and then you can just go on and on to little stuff like this car has power windows in it, okay? Which is really nice. It has this is kind of cool, check this out. Got AM, FM, CD, satellite, navigation. Air conditioning controls are here. It has modern heat, modern air conditioning, stereo system all around. I mean, <laughs> I know I keep rambling on and I get all giddy when I'm talking about it, man, but this car is one of a kind. It is just ridiculously nice runs and drives so great. I want to fire it up for you just so you can hear it. The six feet in as you're rolling down the road, you're clicking through the gears, right? Super smooth, super nice, and it's six gear, cruising on the highway at 70 miles an hour, talking like 2,000 RPM. I think this car is probably getting 25 miles a gallon by then, which is, uh, which is unheard of. But let me just show you this too. Here's my right foot, no pumping the gas, no nothing. You just hit the key and boom, you're ready to roll. so hard to keep going on about this car because there's so many things about it and that's what makes this car so cool and the fact that you can't uh, possibly build this car anywhere close to what it's selling for it's a great deal you know the only way we were able to do it is it was traded into us when it was halfway complete and uh, the person bought a couple cars that are already done they just didn't have time to finish it and were willing to take the, the, the price adjustment all right so in this case here we're talking about you know power seats we're talking about air conditioning we're talking about fast ratio steering the adjustable suspension the wheels and tires I'm just rolling down here, you know, navigation, satellite radio, uh, the powder coated frame underneath, and just, uh, you know, 400 plus horsepower, six speed transmission, custom Moser rear axles that's narrow so that you could fit the mini tub wheels in there. I mean, it goes on and on. If you were to price this stuff out yourself, man, you'd easily spend a buck and a half to a buck 80 and at least take you three years to do it. You couldn't get it done any faster. Maybe if one guy worked on it or an entire shop worked on it day in and day out, maybe, but other than then, then it's gonna be really, really expensive. So if you wanted an awesome, awesome car, I think the greatest muscle car we've ever had here, call us 301-816-1000. Find a way to get this car in your life. It is off the hook, all right? 301-816-1000, call us, thanks.